hello sweet ladies you're welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make bubble without um side seam and also without back seam all right it's not going to have any joining except only in the front so i'm using uh three and a half yards of fabric here so the first thing you need to do is to fold your fabric into two you fold it into two this part here is unfold so you fold it again diagonally like this into four can you see you fold it diagonally into four so make sure you are using fabric that is by length 60 by length 60 your fabric should be by 60 then first you fold it into two then after that you fold it into four diagonally like this like i'm showing you here can you see so at the bottom part you will ensure you have your hip circumference measurement divided by four plus extra five inches all right if if you don't have up to that at the hem you can continue to readjust it so you have that measurement at the hem all right so this is how you fold it a triangle you can just see it's just slightly folded diagonally all right so this part here is going to be your center back and as you can see it's unfold it's going to be your center back and it's unfold so at this upper part here at this slanted line you will you will measure your desired you measure your desired sleeve length starting from the folded edge and if you have been following me you already know how to measure your desired sleeve length if you are making booboo all right so the shoulder is measured together with the sleeve so let's assume i'm doing length 23 inches so this is 23 inches so your sleeve opening or your round sleeve will also be on this line all right so this is from the folded edge here i have 23 inches so the rest here is going to be my sleeve opening and that is about i have exactly six and a half inches here six and a half inches all right so for this style your shoulder your sleeve length and also your sleeve opening everything is going to be on this upper part this slanted part that you have here all right so this is your center back and it's unfold as you can see all right so from the center back you're going to measure one inch like this and then you rule it into a straight line all the way to the end and then you cut it out and basically that is your boo boo <laughs> it's as simple as that so we have not put the neckline we're going to be putting the neckline but let me rule it All right, so this is it. So you can cut it out now. So I'll be cutting it out. So you are cutting from here. Can you see? And then you cut from that one inch all the way to the end of the dress. All right, so this is what we have now. So this is what we have now. Can you see? So from this center back, this folded part is the center back, you measure your neck width. So I'm going to be making my neck width to be three and a half inch three and a half inches and then the neck depth for the back i'm going to be making it two inches then i'll connect the two points together like this all right 
So for the front neck depth, you know the width needs to be equal. The same width is what you're going to use for the front and also the back. So for the, ba uh, for the front neck depth, you can see the front is the one that is on the floor. This open part, this open part is the front. Can you see? This, this first two is the front. Then this folded part is your center back. So you measure the depth for the neckline, uh, the front. I'm going to be doing five inches. I would like to have mine as a kimono. I would like to have mine as a kimono. So meaning I'm going to be having opening in front. Yes, I think I'll do that. So if you like, you can join the center front all the way down and put your desired neck depth for the for the front but i think i'll be making mine to be kimono meaning it's going to have slits in front the front is going to be open so it's going to be open all right so i'll make the neckline to be three inches so i'll connect it this is where the width is so just leave the back up and just connect it the way you want it like this all right so i'll cut the back first this is the back neckline i'll cut it first so when i'm done cutting the back neckline i'll flip the back out of the way you can see the back this 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 folded part is the back flip it out of the way and then you reshape the front neckline you can do a v neckline you can do any neckline of your choice All right, so I'll notch the one inch in front. So this is the center front. And you can see this is what we have. So uh, you can decide to make it short or you can just decide to leave it like this. I think I'll leave it like this because I believe it's going to be fine now. And then don't forget to put your notch in your, on your sleeve opening. You can, you can already see, I already push shock at where my sleeve opening is going to be. So I'll notch it. So this is how it's going to be. Can you see? So the only joining we are going to be having is just your center front. It's just your center front all the way down. And also you join the shoulders together. All right. So we are almost done. It's very simple to sew. So you take, so if you open it now, you have something like this this open part this open part is your center front all right so you take to the sewing machine and then you are going to join it from the center like this all the way down to the hem with half inch allowance you know i added half inch allowance to the center front all right but in my own case i'll just join i'll join it together for like about four inches so I'll not that part because I want it to, to be like an open something, like open kimono. Even if I like as it is now safe, I may not even join it. I can just fold it. This is the center front. You can see the center front and this is the center back. You can see the center back is on fold, all right? Your center, your center front is open. So you can fold it like this. <coughs> You open it up like this. So this is what we have now. This is what we have. So like I said, you go and join the center front together if you wanted to have joining in center front. But I think I'm going to be leaving, I'm going to leave mine as an open kimono. So what I'll do is, I'll take to the sewing machine now. Then from the neckline here, I'll join the shoulders together with half inch allowance till I get to my notching. Yeah. I'll also do the same thing to the second side. From the neckline, I'll join together till I get to my notching. So I'll do that on the sewing machine. 
And after that, I'm just going to be folding the center front like this, two times all the way down. So that it can be an open kimono. But if you like, you can join the center front. It's totally optional, all right? So that it can just be a dress. But I, ha I would like to have mine as a kimono. So I'll join the shoulders together. So I'll join the shoulders together with half inch allowance. So when you stitch to where you have your uh, sleeve opening, you're going to backstitch and stop. And then, so you are just going to be aiming the sleeve opening like this. Just fold it into two this way, and then you stitch it down all around. I used to just fold it into two like this and then you stitch on it. All right, so I'm done with the shoulder and the sleeve opening. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join the center front and also pipe the neckline with a bias strip. And also you end the bottom part. All right, so the next thing now is to join the center front. So you can join your own center front all the way down. You can join it all the way down, but I'm not going to be joining mine all the way down. I'll stop at about four inches because I want it to be open in front like like a kimono so I'll join for like four inches but feel free to join yours all the way down so I'll join four inches join four inches if you are going to be doing my own style <laughs> So the next thing is for you now to fold it like this and then you are going to just sew it, fold it two times and then you sew it all the way down to the end of the dress on both sides, alright? On both sides. So it's going to look like this. So open it, open your seam allowance like this and then fold like this and join it like that all the way down to the end of the mine is going to be open like a kimono or you can join yours you can join yours together all the way down so this is how you're going to do it all the way down to the end of the dress and after th then after that when you're done joining it all the way down you're going to end the bottom part so just fold it two times and then you mix your stitch all around and also you are going to be piping the neckline you are going to be piping the neckline with a bias strip you are going to be piping the neckline with a bias strip alright so that's the end of the class I will show you how it looks on you You can see there's no joining by the sides and also there's no joining at the back. <laughs> I love it. It's so elegant. That's one thing about Bubu. They're always elegant. <laughs> <laughs>